Hello YouTube, here's another tier list video and this time it's ranking Jinwoo's weapon and also I've made a tier list video of all the available hunters and please check it out after watching this video. Just a disclaimer, I rank and categorize these weapons based on my experience when I personally use it. So let's get started. In this tier list, the weapons are categorized if it's viable even at advanced zero how big its AOE attacks, how quickly can it clear a wave of monsters, if a weapon can crowd control or provide wops. Also, the term advanced is what the game called if you have multiple copies of a certain weapon, then advancing it to unlock its full potential. And please don't forget to choose the weapon that will suit your playstyle to fully enjoy the game. So, starting on F tier weapons, and weapons are categorized by R, SR, and SSR, and in the future update, the game might release a new R type of weapon just like in their 7 Deadly Sins mobile. All these R type might be handy in the early game, especially if it's advanced 5 plus 5, but I don't suggest to do it. Because one important factor in advancing a weapon is by using a gold, and farming gold in this game is horrible. Unless the devs will increase it before the global release on May 2024. But I still don't recommend to use R-type weapons. So let's move on B tier weapons and it starts with Baruka's Dagger. It's a dagger type and has small attack range with fast attack speed. And its damage is also good, especially when attacking the monsters at the back. But monsters are aggressively looking at you, so it cannot fully maximize its full potential. Next is the Orc's Broadsword, and it's a great sword type with wider attack range at a cost of slow attack speed. And in order to utilize this weapon, you need to kill monster to further increase its potential, but with a duration. So when facing a boss, you cannot use its full potential. Next is the Black Hawk and this weapon is a pistol type with fast attack speed and long attack range. But its advanced potential are all mediocre in my opinion. Next on the list is the famous Kasaka's Venom Fang and it's a dagger type with fast attack speed, and small attack range. This weapon was broken before as its bleed effect is based on current's max HP of the target. It's still viable to use even after the nerf but its potential is lower than the other weapons. Also the Fireless effect from advanced one is working on bosses but it's only one second. Next on the list is the weapon that debuts in the episode 12 of the anime and it's the Night Killer. It's also a good weapon, but its defense penetration effect has a duration meaning it should be the main weapon and constantly using on the field. So now let's move on to the A tier weapons and let's start with Frostbite Falchion. It's a sword type and has fast attack speed with small attack range. Its skill can freeze the target and even works on bosses. It has 20% chance of freezing the target, but it's still guaranteed to freeze since it has multiple hits. Next on the list is the Orb of Avarice and it's a catalyst type and has long attack range with normal attack speed. This weapon is actually mid in my opinion. Next on the list is the Redirus Family Longbow and it's a bow type that has long attack range with fast attack speed. It's actually a great weapon and easy to use, and its only weakness is against multiple enemies since it can only hit one target. Its advanced one can ignore 50% defense of the target, so weapon skill will definitely hit hard. Next on the list is the West Wind, and this weapon is a rifle but it falls in pistol type with wide attack range and fast attack speed. Even at advanced zero, this weapon hits hard, especially its advanced one, changing the weapon skill to charge attack. Next is the Lustrous Dragon Sword, and this weapon is free at chapter 5 of the Challenges quest, which preparing your account when you're about to face Igris at chapter 8 of the story quest.
Next on the list is the Rock Golem Hammer and it's a great sword type and has wide attack range with slow attack speed. This weapon is also free at chapter 3 of the challenges quest and upon using its weapon skill, it will immediately grant you a shield that scales on your defense. And last on the A tier weapons is the Naga Trident. It's a pole arm and has small attack range with normal attack speed. I actually like this and it's my primary weapon and its advanced zero is actually not that great and there's no clear info if the water explosion it generates will it scale to 100% attack of the user. Okay, so let's move on to the S tier weapons and these are the SSR rank. All these weapons have great attack range with great attack speed and also higher stats compared to SR weapons and each weapon have different unique skill as well. So let's start with the Demonic Plum Flower Sword or simply the Motivated Jinwu and it's a katana weapon with wide attack range and normal attack speed. It can easily clear a wave of enemies and its passives are both crit rate and crit damage so landing a critical hit will definitely easy. Next on the list is the Shadow Sight and it has wide attack range with normal attack speed as well. This weapon is great and free from challenges and you can get 2 copies so you have a guaranteed advanced one of Shadow Sight. Next is the Hansman and it's a pistol type with wide attack range and fast attack speed. It also has a great mobility so you can easily dodge the incoming attacks. And also after using the weapon skill, it will activate a series of burst attacks. Next on the list is Grimoire and it's a catalyst type with long attack range and normal attack speed. Its weapon skill can freeze the target even the bosses. Also after normal attacks, it will leave a bubble floating on the ground and then explode upon an enemy approach it. Next on the list is the Vulcan's Rage with wide attack range and slow attack speed. Even with slow attack speed, it compensates its additional hits after a successful attack. Its weapon skill can apply shield buff then explode after it gets removed or after the duration. The last on the list is the Demon King Longsword and it's a sword type with small attack range and fast attack speed. I personally like this weapon because it has parry and its lightning strikes while attacking are sick. So, the condition for its weapon skill is to use it before getting hit. Then, it will immediately stun the target and makes an AOE that strike lightning around Jinwu. So, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and actually, there are missing weapons because it's listed on broken tier list and I'll further explain it in the next video. Please kindly check the description box or the pinned comment in the comment section. So, that's all in this video. Please check out the Hunter tier list as well and thanks for watching and I'll see you again.